Steve here with Cardiac Cycling. Today we're going to look at the basics of DI2 programming. So we're going to show how you download the eTube project app and once it's downloaded then what you do in terms of hooking your computer up to your bicycle. It's really basic stuff. I haven't covered it previously and that's a mistake on my part. I had some comments from some subscribers and some viewers that had questions about this. So hopefully by the time we're through with the video today, it will get all those things answered and people will be able to be more productive on their own. Save them a trip to the bike shop. Not that there's anything wrong with frequenting your bike shop, but if you can do things on your own, there's a lot of satisfaction in that. Stay tuned. Materials for today's project include four things, a DI2 equipped bicycle, you also want the battery charger that came with your DI2, the SM-BCR2. You're not going to need the PC linkage device, which costs about two times the price of a regular battery charger. You're also going to need the eTube project, which you can download from the Shimano website. I'll have a link posted below. They have various versions. They have iPad, iPhone, Android tablet, Android smartphone, and then for your PC or laptop, we have the Windows versions as well. And of course you're going to need an internet connected device. And that's where we're going to start today. You can see here I'm connected to the internet and we're going to begin to download eTube project onto my computer so that you can see what you go through, what the steps are. You begin by clicking the download button and you can see here in the bottom left hand corner the download happens pretty quick. Now I have sped this up just for the sake of avoiding boredom. Um, you're going to open the download and it's going to initiate the install. And you just follow the instructions. We'll click OK right here and the install begins. As the install proceeds, you need to know that this is not real time speed that you're looking at. I deleted a lot of the footage where I was just waiting where the green line wasn't moving, I wasn't being asked to do anything by dialog boxes like here. And I also sped up the parts like this one you're seeing now to ensure that we didn't have a lot of hang time. So when you do this yourself on your machine, it, it's going to take a little bit longer. And if I remember correctly, for me, this was about a six minute process, start to finish, which isn't so bad. Once this portion of the installation is complete, you'll find the shortcut, the icon for eTube project on your desktop. And you should go ahead and double click on it to open the app. First thing you'll be asked to do is to agree to the terms and conditions. So just scroll all the way through. Once you've done that, then click on agree and then OK. And then you have an opportunity to select your bicycle type. So in this case, we're going to be working with my road bike, so we'll click that. Don't freak out when things disappear like that. It's just continuing to go through its installation project. Excuse me, its installation process. So it's making sure that you got the latest and greatest version of E2 project on board. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to hook up the battery charger. You're going to hook it to your computer and to your bicycle. So here we have on my bike the junction box A is located on the down tube. On a lot of other bicycles, however, you'll find junction box A located under the stem. In fact, at least what I've seen in the States, that's where the vast majority of the manufacturers put junction box A. I do know that there are some that you'll find in the uh, bar end tubes. I think that's become less of uh, practice than otherwise. So having a little trouble getting it plugged in, once you get it plugged in, then we're going to get the other part of the cord. That's the one that has the micro USB and the normal USB and we'll hook the micro USB into the charging unit and then we'll take the USB once it's plugged in. Come on, there we go. Get the little grass off there and we're going to plug this guy into the computer. Here we go. One, two, three. Seems to be taking a while. All right, now we're all connected. 
from the computer to the charging unit, charging unit to the bicycle. Now we're going to go back to the app, and when we get back to the app, we're going to click on Connection Check. That's the next step. Once we do that, we'll be notified that it's checking the connection, and then we're going to be told that it's not charging. The battery charger is not charging. That's what you want to see. That's exactly what you want to see. Click OK. You're not using it as a charger right now. You're using it as PC linkage. Now click Next and you're going to see that it's recognizing the unit. So the app is recognizing your bicycle. There's the green bar. It's over. It's done. You can see a little blinky blink down at the bottom and then click Continue. And now you're going to click on Update Firmware. And we're now told that everything is up to date. The reason for that is Shimano hasn't made an update to the firmware since November of last year, and I have updated this bicycle uh, a few months ago, actually. So we're going to click Complete, and then we click the top left, File, then click Exit. Very important you do this. Click OK. You want to exit the program this way so that you don't make your bicycle think that it's doing something that it isn't and drain the battery. That's it for today. I hope you found this video useful and that you now have a bit more confidence of your own ability to do some DI2 programming on your own bicycle. If you've not subscribed, please do so. And if this was useful for you today, give it a thumbs up. Click that little thumbs up. And if you're subscribed, make sure you click the notification bell, the little looks like Liberty Bell. Click on that and you'll get notified anytime there's a new upload. Remember, subscribing is free. Have a great day.